Welcome back to Kaiju Mania, I'm Rocket and this week is the 50th episode of Kaiju Mania, Scamra vs Jaga. Now we start off with the Japanese discovering this statue on this African island and they're like oh that'll look good at the World Expo which is coming up, let's steal it and put it there. So they steal it, this African man gets really angry, I'm not going to do an impression because that's incredibly racist, but he's not happy and he basically says the word Jaga quite a lot. So, he's not too pleased, Japanese don't really care, they're going to steal it put it in the expo anyway. So they steal it, haul it off to Japan. So we get all this moody lightning and stuff, all, as soon as they take it, stuff starts affecting this little island. When out of the rocks, lightning strikes I think, and then Jaiga pops out. Now, Jaiga, considering this is a camera film, and everything has been looking like crap so far, it's really the best looking monster they've done so far. Um, it's got this big head, it kind of looks like some kind of demonic triceratops wannabe kind of thing. I don't know, it's got some kind of dinosaur influence anyway. But yeah, I'm quite impressed with the look of it actually. So, as you do, as soon as Jaiga arrives, Gamera gets wind. He's like, right, I need to go sort out trouble. I am the champion after all. He goes, throws down his belt, says, you me, last man standing match. And yes, it is another last man standing match. And we know how it worked out for him last time, didn't we? He lost. Anyway. Gamera vs Jiger heavyweight title is on the line. So Jiger has got a special power. He's got telekinesis into his hands. So he wills and uses the force, grabs a rock, throws it at Gamera. Doesn't really do much to be honest. He then jumps at Gamera but misses. Gamera then grabs his arms, flies up into the sky, throws him on the floor, goes back down, gets him again, throws him onto the floor. I think, oh, strong start here. But then, Jaiga has a secret weapon, he can fire spikes out of his spikes. So, his spikes fire spikes and he goes through the elbows and the knees of Gamera. So Gamera is well and truly done. Gamera can't do anything, he falls back. So how can he get up if he can't get these spikes out of his limbs? The answer is he can't, so he's there on his back flailing. The referee starts to count, the referee's counting, he's doing the 10 count. Gamera can't get to his feet in time. The referee counts to 10. And we have a new heavyweight champion, Jiger. Jiger's heading for Japan. Um, they've, got, they've currently got the statue on the boat at the moment, but they just get to Japan in time, getting it onto a plane, they're gonna take it to the expo. So, Jiger is streaming along the sea, because he can kind of fly bursts of, of flight anyway. And the, cam uh, the captain of the ship looks out of his window and he's like, oh shit, Jiger is coming. Then it cuts to Jiger going through the side of the ship. Now, if you're looking over there and something's coming over, it doesn't make sense, does it really? But anyway, they look straight ahead and then Jiger goes through the side of the ship. Doesn't make sense, but Jiger then gets to Japan, starts raining down terror on Japan, and he's got this new power that we haven't seen the Circle of Death, as opposed to the Circle of Life, I guess. Um, he has this big circle beam and it just destroys everything in there. People turn to skeletons, buildings are destroyed. The entire army is destroyed in one. Uh, Gamera, after some messing about, finally gets these spikes out of him. It's been all frigging there, because by the time Gamera gets to Japan, it's night time. And Jaiga is still there, destroying Japan. I mean, it's night time now. I thought Jaiga was looking for this statue. He got to Japan, just got sidetracked. He's just destroying Japan. Why is he not going for the statue? No idea. But then we get a second fight. It's Gamera versus Jaiga. Title is on the line. So Jaiga goes straight away, he knows the trick, he goes for the spikes again, but Gamera gets this metal pipe, catches the spikes inside the metal pipe, and then beats Jaiga with it. Then starts breathing fire and he's starting to do a bit of a number on him. Jaiga on pain on his back, somehow, I don't really know how it is, this, but with his telekinesis power, he sucks Gamera onto him. So he's on his back, then Gamera kind of just clumsily lands on top of Jiger. Then Jiger gets his tail, which has got another spike, so it's another new power, and stabs Gamera just here on the shoulder blade. And then Gamera, he's just, I don't know what happened, but Gamera just, just like gets up immediately and runs off. He flees the scene. And the referee, again, goes for the 10 count. He's counted out of the match, and Jiger is still your heavyweight champion. If you think about it, this is the exact same what happened last week. Jiger then finally gets the statue, picks it up and throws it into the sea. Because 
reasons. I mean, if Jiger just didn't want to be near the statue, why fly to where it's going? Why not just fly on the opposite side of the world? Because apparently this statue keeps Jiger in his place. So if you just fly somewhere else, then it's going to be, you know, I don't know, stupid. But anyway, we get an X-ray of Gamera. God knows how he got an X-ray of Gamera. It must have been a massive machine. But they get an X-ray inside of Gamera, looking at his lungs, and like, oh, look at that dark patch in his lungs. What's happening? Well, we think that Gamera might have lung cancer. It's like, well, he does smoke a lot, but that's not it. There's something else wrong with him, isn't there, Doc? I'm like, yes, there is. We think that there's actually a parasite inside him that's going to hatch and burst out of him. This is before Alien, by the way. So, uh, these kids steal a little yellow submarine, which again sounds like another similar Gamera film. And they go inside Gamera um, to investigate the parasites. And there is, there's a baby Jiger inside there. And he fires these white sticky liquid at them. Um, then the kid throws his telephone at Jiger, which sticks to his head. And the dial tone or something interferes with Jiger and basically it kills him. The baby, baby Jiger, he's died from the interference from the telephone. Jiger falls asleep, they surround him with all these big, you know, telephone signals and like transmit this transmission, obviously. It starts to do the work, it starts to kill Jiger, but at the same time they're trying to revive Gamera. Um, for some reason. I don't know why they don't just like, you know. Basically, if they'd have left Gamera dead and then they killed Jiger. Problem solved. But no, they try and revive Gamera at the same time when apparently trying to revive Gamera takes up a lot of electric. In fact, it cuts the power to Jiger, so Jiger's alive again, so it's all gone to tits. It's all gone tits up. So anyway, Gamera's alive again, Jiger's alive again. Jiger's still a champion, but Gamera wants his rematch again, even though he already lost. But Gamera gets another title shot, so it's Gamera versus Jiger title. He's on the line. So Jiger jumps at Gamera, but Gamera breathes his fire, he's distracting Jiger, he falls down on the floor. Gamera stamps on his tail to stop his him being impaled again. Gamera then flies off, goes into the sea, he does leave the arena, but he gets back in time for the Tenko, don't worry. Gets this magical statue and stabs it through Jiger's head, which is brilliant. So it just goes right through his head, kills Jiger, and he's dead. So you knew heavyweight champion, Gamera. Gamera then gets the statue, gets Jiger's dead body, flies off into the sunset. And that's it. That's how we wrap up. So, do I recommend this film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Um, the monster design's cool this time round. It's probably one of the best ones that Gamera's had so far. Gamera's opponents have had so far. We get fights, we get title changes. It's all going on. So, yeah, two thumbs up. Two, two weeks in a row. And yet, they put Gamera vs Gaius as one of the best films they've ever done, and it was shit. Anyway, remember, share, comment, subscribe, all that good love. Join us on Thursday, I'll give you five monetized facts about this film. And join us on Monday for Gamera vs Zigra.